So I guess this would be episode 5.5 or part two. I don't, I don't know. Uh, and yes, I did not do a costume change. We're filming this all in one day. So get, get ready for this. Get used to it. Tough. Welcome to Hus Nation. This is part two, two part series of what happens after you put an offer in on a house. So we already went over part one, which is the inspection and actually getting the offer accepted. Uh, I would recap that otherwise, but I want you guys to watch the video. So here's a link right now. Go watch it if you want to get caught up. It's short, it's quick, very easy. So after the house has been repaired and after you've had the home inspected, the next thing that'll happen is an appraisal will be sent by the bank. The reason they need an appraisal is the bank wants to know if the house is actually worth what you're paying for it. And you're not an idiot that is just paying whatever uh, the market says it is. So what they will do is get a list of comparable houses, so similar square footage, uh, you know, bed, bath, in a neighborhood or an area close by to the house you've picked and they will see what those houses sold for and then compare that to your house, make adjustments based on the pool, based on the kitchen, any upgrades, but for the most part, it would tell you the value of that house. So how can this kill, kill a deal, you might ask? Well, pretty straightforward based on the example, if the house does not appraise or the value is not equal to at least the purchase price, guess what? Uh, you can either walk away from the deal you can bring more money to closing to satisfy the bank or the discrepancy for the difference between the value and the purchase price. Or you can go back to the seller and say, hey, idiot, guess what? Your house isn't worth this much. Come down or I'm walking. Usually it's the third option uh, that most people do. They're like, hey, it appraised for this much or this value. Uh, we need to renegotiate the price. Or if not, just walk away and find something else. So that was four quick things on what, what can go wrong after you put in an offer. Uh, you can honestly get creative with the different problems or issues because I guarantee you, no matter what house someone has bought, it has happened. Uh, but in general, these are the four things that uh, will happen after you put an offer in and after it is accepted. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video, the Hus Nation uh, viewers and peeps. Please like and subscribe our, our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, please comment or email me any questions you might have or any future videos you might want us to do. Uh, again, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys uh, next week. Bye-bye.